Do you think Earth's poles could switch places? Could the North Pole one day become the South Pole, and vice versa? Or perhaps even more mind-boggling? What if Earth's magnetic poles could flip entirely, reversing their current positions? It sounds like science fiction, but what if I told you that our planet's magnetic poles have flipped countless times throughout history? Pole reversals are considered random events, happening on average every 200,000 to 300,000 years, but with no predictable time frame. Earth's magnetic poles could flip at any time, but scientists cannot predict exactly when it will happen. The last flip occurred around 780,000 years ago, suggesting that a reversal is overdue based on historical patterns, but it could happen soon or take many more years to occur. What would happen if they flipped again? Would we feel the effects? And how would life on Earth be impacted? Would compasses point the wrong way? Would animals that navigate using the Earth's magnetic field get lost? Could the Earth's magnetic pole flip increase the risk of cancer? Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of Earth's magnetic poles and their flips. Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. If you're passionate about science, technology, and the wonders of our world, you're in the right place. Today, we're embarking on a mind-blowing journey to uncover the truth behind Earth's magnetic poles and their flips. By the end of this video, you'll be more knowledgeable and definitely a little wiser than when we got started. First, let's understand what we mean by magnetic poles. The Earth acts like a giant magnet, with magnetic field lines emerging from the South Pole and entering at the North Pole. This magnetic field is crucial for life on Earth, as it shields us from harmful solar radiation and cosmic rays. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by movements in its molten outer core, composed of iron and nickel. This dynamic movement creates electric currents, which in turn produce the magnetic field that surrounds our planet. But why do these poles flip in the first place? The short answer is that it's a natural part of the Earth's geodynamo process. The Earth's outer core is composed of molten iron and nickel. As this liquid metal moves, it generates electric currents, which in turn create magnetic fields. Over time, changes in the flow of this molten metal can lead to a reversal of the magnetic poles. So, how often does this happen? Historically, magnetic pole flips are not on a set schedule. On average, they occur every 200,000 to 300,000 years, but this is just an average. The last major flip, known as the Brunhez Matuyama reversal, occurred about 780,000 years ago. Geologists use methods like studying lava flows and ocean sediments to date these reversals, providing a window into Earth's magnetic history. Here's a breakdown of the key methods they use to determine the frequency of these magnetic pole reversals. 1. Magnetic stratigraphy process. Scientists examine the magnetic properties of rocks, particularly volcanic and sedimentary rocks. When lava cools, iron-bearing minerals within it align with the Earth's magnetic field. This orientation becomes fossilized as the rock solidifies. By analyzing these magnetic signatures, researchers can identify past orientations of the magnetic field. This allows them to create a timeline of magnetic reversals. 2. Paleomagnetic studies process. Paleomagnetism involves studying the magnetic properties of ancient rocks to understand the historical behavior of the magnetic field. Samples are taken from various locations and analyzed for their magnetic orientation. By dating these rocks using methods like radiometric dating and correlating magnetic data, scientists can map out when flips occurred throughout Earth's history. 3. Ocean floor spreading process. The discovery of magnetic stripes on the ocean floor provides crucial evidence. As magma rises at mid-ocean ridges and solidifies, it captures the Earth's magnetic field direction at that time. By studying these stripes and their alternating patterns of normal and reversed magnetic polarity, scientists can estimate the timing of flips and calculate their frequency. 4. Sediment core analysis process. Sediment cores drilled from the ocean floor and lake beds often contain layers that reflect historical changes in the Earth's magnetic field. By examining these layers, scientists can identify periods of magnetic reversals and determine how often they have occurred. 5. Computer models and simulations process. Scientists also use models of the geodynamo, the process that generates Earth's magnetic field, to simulate how the magnetic field behaves under various conditions. These models help researchers understand the potential mechanisms behind reversals and can support observational data. 
By combining data from these methods, scientists have built a comprehensive picture of magnetic pole reversals. They estimate that reversals occur on average every 200,000 to 300,000 years, though the timing can vary significantly. This multidisciplinary approach allows for a robust understanding of Earth's magnetic history, revealing patterns that inform predictions about future flips. Now, what happens during a magnetic pole flip? You might be wondering if we'd feel the effects. The truth is, a flip doesn't happen overnight. It can take thousands of years to complete. During this period, the magnetic field can weaken, allowing more cosmic radiation to reach the Earth's surface. This could impact satellite operations, navigation systems, and even power grids. Some species, like migratory birds, rely on Earth's magnetic field for navigation and might be affected as well. Here are some intriguing facts about magnetic pole flips that might surprise you. Fact 1. Not catastrophic. While the idea of a magnetic pole flip sounds dramatic, it's unlikely to have catastrophic effects on life. The flips can take thousands of years, allowing species to adapt. Fact 2. Impact on technology. In our modern world, a magnetic pole flip could affect satellites and power grids. It might cause disruptions, as systems rely on stable magnetic fields. Fact 3. Animal navigation. Many species, including birds and sea turtles, use the Earth's magnetic field for navigation. A flip could lead to temporary disorientation, but nature often finds a way to adapt. Fact 4. Did you know that the magnetic poles are not fixed? They actually wander over time. The North Magnetic Pole has been moving toward Russia at an average speed of about 10 kilometers per year. Fact 5. Some scientists believe that the last pole flip may have been triggered by changes in the outer core's flow, leading to significant environmental changes on Earth. Have you ever wondered, could the Earth's magnetic pole flip increase the risk of cancer? With the Earth's magnetic field serving as our protective shield against harmful cosmic radiation, is there a cause for concern when the magnetic poles switch places? Let's dive into this intriguing question. A magnetic pole flip, or geomagnetic reversal, is a natural process where the Earth's magnetic poles gradually switch places. Now, you might be wondering, does it pose a threat to our health, especially when it comes to cancer risk? First, let's talk about what the magnetic field does. The Earth's magnetic field, along with its atmosphere, protects us from cosmic radiation and solar particles that could be harmful. These high-energy particles can potentially damage our DNA, increasing the risk of cancer. So, if the magnetic field weakens, could this mean more radiation reaching us? Let's break it down. The process of a magnetic pole flip is very slow, it takes thousands of years. During this time, the magnetic field doesn't just disappear. Instead, it weakens and becomes more complex, but it never fully vanishes. This means that even though the field weakens a bit, it's not a sudden drop in protection. Now, it's important to know that while the magnetic field does play a role in shielding us from harmful radiation, the atmosphere does the heavy lifting. Our atmosphere provides a crucial layer of protection against the sun's harmful rays, especially at ground level. So even if the magnetic field weakens during a pole flip, the atmosphere still offers plenty of protection. Some scientists have looked into whether weakening magnetic fields could lead to more radiation reaching Earth's surface. But here's the thing. There's no direct evidence showing that a geomagnetic reversal would significantly increase cancer rates. The levels of cosmic radiation that would reach us are not enough to cause widespread damage. Let's keep in mind that cancer risks are more closely linked to factors like lifestyle, genetics, and exposure to carcinogens, like smoking or environmental pollutants, rather than cosmic radiation or magnetic field shifts. So, to answer the question no, a magnetic pole flip does not increase cancer risk in any significant way. While the magnetic field may weaken temporarily, the atmosphere and other natural defenses will continue to protect us. And of course, we've got plenty of time to adapt, as these reversals happen over thousands of years. Despite popular myths, there is no evidence to suggest that a magnetic pole flip would lead to catastrophic disasters. Life on Earth has survived numerous flips over millions of years. So, there you have it. Earth's magnetic poles have flipped many times throughout its history. And while they may flip again, the effects are not as alarming as some might think.
Understanding this phenomenon helps us appreciate the complex dynamics of our planet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Club Academia, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating content. What other Earth mysteries would you like us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Stay curious and keep questioning. Until next time, let's continue exploring the wonders of science and technology together at Club Academia.